Ugandan pop star and MP Bobby Wine has arrived in the U.S. for medical treatment following accusations he was tortured and beaten while in military custody. The former rapper was initially prevented from leaving the country but was cleared to fly out on Friday. He, and 32 opposition politicians, were charged with treason last week over the alleged stoning of President Yari Museveni's convoy. Bobby Wine was later granted bail. The army denies allegations of torture. On Friday, police confirmed that Bobby Wine had been cleared to fly out of the country for specialized treatment after the government sent a team of nine doctors to examine him. His lawyer, Robert Amsterdam, said the pop star had also been violently rearrested at the airport on Thursday even though the judge had let him have his passport because he needed to leave the country for medical reasons. More on this and others stories from the continent. The President and the Pop Star A police spokesman had confirmed on Twitter that Bobby Wine was being given a medical examination because of the allegations of torture. Police said that another opposition MP, Francis Zake, who was also trying to go abroad for treatment, had been trying to flee the country and accordingly apprehended him. On Friday, supporters of Bobby Wine held protests in the capital, Kampala. Pictures shared on social media showed plumes of smoke rising in the streets, with local media reporting that the protests were confined to Kamwiki slum, where the MP grew up. On Monday Bobby Wine, whose real name is Robert Kyagulani E, appeared on crutches during a court appearance. His allies say he was tortured by elite presidential guards during his detention. Who is Bobby Wine? Profile, Yari Musfani. The army have described the allegations as rubbish. His aides say he was later re-arrested at Uganda's main international airport where he was planning to board a plane to Washington for further medical treatment. He's in tremendous pain and suffered very serious injuries, Mr. Amsterdam had said of the star's condition. There's not a part of his body that isn't in pain. His children were going to stay in Uganda. It was a brief trip, simply for a medical evaluation, he added. What led to the treason charges? Before being arrested, Bobby Wine tweeted a gruesome picture of his driver, who he said had been shot dead by police thinking he was the MP. Bobby Wine was arrested on 13 August after a campaign rally in the northwestern town of Erua where the presidential convoy was allegedly stoned. The 36-year-old musician was initially to be tried in a military court over accusations of unlawful possession of firearms but the charge was dropped. A civilian court later charged him with treason. Bobby Wine, and the other accused were expected to appear in court again on Thursday but the hearing has been adjourned to the 1st of October. Who is Bobby Wine? The Afrobeats star has been a thorn in the side of Mr. Museveni's government. Since his election as an MP just over a year ago, he has backed candidates in three by-elections who have beaten those from the ruling National Resistance Movement, NRM, including in Arua. He was also a leading campaigner against the move to scrap the presidential age limit, set at 75, which would have locked out the 74-year-old Mr. Musvin bid to run for a sixth term in 2021. Wine also joined local activists in July to protest against a social media tax introduced ostensibly to boost state revenue and to end what Mr. Musvin called gossip on WhatsApp, Facebook, and Twitter. Taxing gossip on the internet. Critics, however, said the 200 Uganda shillings, 5 cents, 4 pence, daily tax was meant to suppress dissenting voices. The government has since said it will review the tax.